In the last video, I made a song that I'm really happy about. But of course, there are some things that I would like to change. And one of the biggest things is that the form, it's like, I really like it how it is now, but it's like when I have listened to it, I, I don't feel like I'm done yet with the song. And somehow I think that's a really good thing. But it just reminded me of that I really need to try out different forms and that there is a technique that I usually use that I would like to show you. So the technique is extremely simple. Basically, I export the song, I load it into a door and then I chop it up and rearrange it until I'm satisfied and then continue a bit because maybe I will get even more satisfied. So I mark the song, I export audio video I do it in PCM wave and I save it somewhere safe. So or fourth chords on and off. And then what's important is to remember what the tempo is. So 109. Okay, so I'm done exporting and then what I do is to make a new live set. So I drag and drop my now exported song. And very important, remember to unwarp the song if it's warped because Ableton will often automatically try to make it fit the grid and it's extremely good and it's very impressive but since I know that this does need any changes then just unwarp it. And remember to set the right BPM so 109. And now when I play what I start to do is to simply chop the different pieces and uh, because I like to have a overview, then I also uh, give the different parts different colors. So here something happened. And then the lyric starts here. So this is an important mark. And I will just call this Intro, remember to rename your clips. Control R. You keep me in the words that you carefully choose. And uh, an unknown kind. Just chop it up as much as possible. Verse. And I will give this another color. And uh, I will actually name it verse 1, part 2. B part and again give it a new color okay so now I cut it all up and then I will start to simply try to rearrange it in Ableton there are some very exciting shortcuts that I think is extremely important to know when you're doing this the first is paste time so if I decide that I want these two bars set in somewhere then I press ctrl c and then when I want to paste it I press ctrl shift v and that makes it so that I paste it but also it makes empty space for it so it simply delays everything after if I only press ctrl v like the normal paste then it will like delete some of verse 2 but if I press Control shift v then it will make space for it and simply shift everything after it. And then the next important shortcut is time delete. So for example, if I want to delete verse 2, part 2, then I can press delete, but then I leave this empty space. But instead I can press Control shift delay which will delete everything also the time. So now there is no break between verse 2 and chorus. And then of course insert time which is really good for for example making breaks. Control I and then you simply write how many bars you would like to insert of time. 
and it will insert where your cursor is. And also, by simply marking something and pressing zero, then you will mute it. And that's also a very great way of making breaks. Which was like anticlimactic at this point, but a very good way of doing it. And of course, all of these shortcuts is also very good when you have done your final form and wants to implement it to your real song. Okay, but I will try to do something because I'm <laughs> genuinely uh, curious about how this could be. But I would like to hear how it would sound if the chorus came with the lyrics after the first verse. So instead of this B part without lyrics, then uh, the chorus here. Uh, so I uh, time pasted it with Control Shift V, and now I'm gonna time delete B part. Try to surprise yourself. Since this is so easy, then try to do something that you never do before and give it a chance. Not just try it for two seconds, but maybe try it and listen to it five times. The whole form. So I was thinking, what do I never do? I never start with a chorus. So instead of the intro, maybe let's add the chorus. So I time pasted it and I will just listen to it as it is now. Being born is tragic. Being born is magical. Maybe this could be amazing without uh, the drums. Being born is the beginning of the And maybe end. just like uh, without the second uh, part. Whoa. I think I love this. <laughs> I really didn't think I would. But I would uh, I will uh, leave a mark and write without drums. Another really, really important thing is to listen to it all because often we like get three parts that really fits and it's in the end and then it just doesn't sound right. And that's because we're working with music. So we listen from the beginning to the end. So to make the right decisions for how the end is, then we need to listen from the beginning so we get to feel what we think is missing in the end. Not just listen to the last three parts or two parts, but all the time start from the beginning to really get to feel what it is we are doing. And again, the most incredible thing about this process is that it's so easy. So remember to make three or four forms and do something that you wouldn't think of doing because now it's the chance to surprise yourself to like go beyond what you thought was really good and make something that you think is incredibly good. Every time we do something new, we need to get used to it because the factor of having something that sounds familiar is so powerful. So to get beyond just doing what we always do, we need to give it some time. When you have done your forms and choose the one that you like the most, then do the extra work and record it from the beginning again. When we're recording something, then it's because we have experienced this and this and this, so therefore we do like this. But now when we are rearranging everything, then our performances kind of doesn't make that much sense because when we were performing, we were like having something else in mind. We were listening to another form. Take your time and re-record some of the instruments that is playing throughout the whole song. And this is also to avoid having the same part looped over and over again. Music is about translating feelings sharing feelings and when you perform do something then it's sharing your feelings and sharing the same four bars of feeling over and over again becomes a bit weak I think. So take your time and record on top of your new form. I hope this was a useful technique trick 
to rearrange your songs to try out different forms. Making a good form is like making a good chord progression or making a good melody. It's so important. And in this way, it just enables me to try out all of these different ideas that I'm elsewhere maybe too lazy to do because it's actually some work. So by just trying it out with a single audio file, it just becomes so much more easy. And I get to try out, for example, starting my song with a chorus, which I, <laughs> why would I ever spend the time to try out that because I wouldn't think it would work. But because it's so easy, then I get to try out things that, yeah, it does make sense. We really only get to make really good decisions when we try out as many options as possible. I hope this made sense. And if it did, then please hit the thumbs up button and consider to subscribe to my channel. It would truly make me happy. Enjoy.